Victorian coroner to issue findings on death of indigenous woman in police custody. Warning, this story contains the name and image of a deceased indigenous person. Writhing in pain inside a prison cell, Veronica Nelson begged for help over and over again in the hours before she died. The Yorta Yorta woman, 37, had been transferred to a regular cell after two days on a medical ward. But her repeated pleas were knocked back by prison guards and healthcare staff. Nelson, representing herself, had earlier tried to get bail after being arrested for minor offenses, but a magistrate rejected her application. Coroner Simon McGregor is on Monday expected to declare Nelson's death in January 2020 was preventable. Call for bail law reform and to find corrections had failed to provide her with adequate health care. His highly anticipated finding follows a five-week coronial inquest, which ended in May last year. Nelson was arrested on December 30, 2019, on warrants for breaching bail and suspicion of shoplifting. She was interviewed by police without a lawyer and represented herself in a bail application, which was denied. Following dozens of calls for help, Nelson was found dead in her cell at Dame Phyllis Frost Center on January 2. She died from complications of Wilkie's syndrome, in a setting of withdrawal from heroin. Victoria's bail laws are widely considered to be among the toughest in the country. The state government made changes to the Bail Act in 2018 under expert advice in response to the 2017 Burke Street Massacre. After pressure from Nelson's family and legal advocates, Attorney General Jacqueline Symes last week confirmed changes to the laws were being discussed. McGregor will deliver the finding during a three-hour hearing at the coroner's court in Melbourne from 10.30 a.m. 